we are going to be making uh, nesting bowls out of clay. Here's the clay, and here's some examples of the finished product. These are uh, beautiful little air dry clay bowls, little trinket bowls you can use as home decor. And we have chosen to do little botanical accents, make it a textured work of art. So the first thing you gotta do before you even get your clay out of your supplies bag is go around and gather up all of the round things, all of the circle things you can around your house. So let's get started making our nesting bowls. All right, if you were with us during the, uh, for the Picasso clay owl, this is the same kind of air dry clay. And um, you wanna work it so that you're making, kind of like making um, pizza crust or cookies. If you've ever made sugar cookies with a cookie cutter, air dry clay will soften up if you add water to it, but a little bit goes a long way. If you had a rolling pin or you had a whole art studio full of art supplies for clay working, you would have the right tools for this. But if you don't, just use what you have on hand. You want it to be about, I don't know, between a quarter of an inch to a half inch. We have included enough clay for you to do two or three little nesting bowls. So you want to work on a smooth surface. You want to collect all of your round things from the kitchen. Let's try this one first. Okay, we will put a few little samples in your bag, kind of like a little surprise package of botanicals from around town. I may or may not have taken a few plants from the police department across the street. They won't miss them. But what you want to be looking for is uh, strong leaves, leaves that aren't too flimsy, leaves that will uh, keep their shape. I kind of think this would be nice for our design here. So let's see what happens. Okay, well you want to make sure that your plant sample, whichever one you use, is clean. Get the dirt off of it, so I just rinsed mine off here. And then decide on your composition because uh, you only get one chance. So I'm going to do a slightly off-center one want to make an impression and gently pull it up. Now if you want, this is the tricky part, sometimes it'll stick. So you can just let it dry flat like this. I mean, that's just an object of beauty and you can put little trinkets in the middle. Or if you want it to have a, a little bit of a, a dish-like shape, find something a little bit bigger than your initial circle. You might want to go over the edge with a little bit of water. And then you can go on and make your second and third dishes in decreasing size. So we're gonna let this dry overnight. And then tomorrow, it will come out just really clean and white and be ready for our next step. Here's a couple of examples of things you can do for your finishing touch. You can leave the beautiful unadorned clay and have a minimalist piece. You can use the metallic paint for accents in a number of different ways. Here's just the edge. Here, I sort of put it over the whole center part of it. You can see the outline of the leaf shape really nicely. Here's an example of watering down the metallic paint and just outlining the shape of the leaf. And you still get some of the, the detail. So we will include some of this uh, lovely metallic acrylic paint. Here, if you're going to do the edge only, make sure you have a nice clean edge. After it dries, it can be trimmed, it can be sanded, but you want to have a really nice clean edge. If you have a paintbrush like this, go ahead and use it. If you don't, we'll throw a couple of these in there and trust me, they get the job done. And there you have it, beautiful embossed trinket bowls with botanical accents. Now, a word of caution, these are decorative pieces. They're not made for use with food. And also, if you want them in your bathroom, they might that might get a little too moist and then the clay will get gummy and it could even like um, start to fall apart if it gets too wet. If you want this to be durable in a moist environment, 
uh, go ahead and get some spray shellac or Mod Podge and apply that to the surface to, um, to seal it. I like leaving it unvarnished like this. I just like that sort of satiny surface. But yeah, it has to be in a dry location, but it should last for years. Well, thank you for joining us for this session of Art of Home. I hope you have a great time making your own clay nesting dishes. Please take pictures of your work. Share it with us over social media. That's hashtag FCC Art at Home. And keep being creative, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.